Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Thursday, May 18th, and it is an S3 day. The SAT word of the day is inert, which means not moving. For lunch today, we have a chicken and cheese quesadilla. Today on the show, we have an interview with Miss McDonald, followed by a story and a PSA. Now, sit back and relax, because NHS Update starts right now. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the show. I'm Sam Doucette. And I'm Tim Rose. Seniors, the final table and bus list for Friday's prom are posted outside Mr. Sweeney's office. The buses will leave promptly at 6 o'clock. See Mr. Sweeney with any questions. Also, the senior breakfast will be held in the dining hall at 8 a.m. on Friday, June 2nd. See Mr. Sweeney to sign up. The cost is $5. Now we have Ms. McDonald in the studio to talk about the career fair. Here's Alessandra Verone with the interview. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm here with Ms. McDonald. So what is the career fair? So it's this morning, um, and what it is is that over 35 professionals are coming in to meet with only the junior class. And you've already picked three of those, um, so you're going to go to each one for 15 minutes, and you're going to ask them a lot of good questions uh, about what they do, their job responsibilities, um, potential earnings, pros and cons, anything you want to find out about that specific job. And what's the procedure for this event? Yeah, so it's important that, first of all, you go by the numbers, so please go in order. We did it specifically so that the professionals will always have people um, during their session. And you want to go the second the bell rings for the second period of the day, so that's like 8.55, I think, you're going to go directly to the first one. So you're not going to go to your second period class first. You're going to go right to that class and then just follow up by there. We'll get on the all call and tell you when to rotate. Anything else? That's it. Enjoy. Get a lot out of it. All right, now back to the desk. Thanks guys. Any senior who ran multiple seasons of track can apply for the Joseph Catchpole Scholarship. See Coach Long or Coach Kine for an application. Cooking Club will meet on Tuesday after school in room 114. We will be discussing our NHS Chef competition. We'll be right back after this message. NHS TV lovers, Tuesday, May 23rd is the 2017 NEMI Awards. Come see all the stories you love this year, win some awards. Admission is free, but for those who can't make it, MPA will be streaming it live at mpa.org. Hope to see you all there. Welcome back. Be sure to stop by the Ice Cream Social. All are welcome. Recently, Guidance Director Kristen McDonald led her varsity girls basketball team at Braintree to the state finals. Ali Giambanco brings us the story. Guidance counselor Miss McDonald is also a championship basketball coach. And that's our offense, okay? I think what made me want to coach was that I always had like incredible coaches growing up. I had people that took a vested interest in me and not just as a basketball player but as a person. McDonald's coaching career began as an assistant at Stonehill in 2003, but in 2009 she got her own program at Braintree High School. Coach McDonald says it's the perfect place to coach basketball. I think, um, you know, I'm lucky I coach a lot of kids that just get after it all game and they, they work really hard. And she's had ton of success capturing back-to-back -back state titles in 2014 and 2015. This season they're making another run. I think these kids have been really mature over the years to just understand that it takes each practice and getting better every day and, um, and hopefully with all that practice and, and focus we'll be able to come out with those wins at the end of it. McDonald says that she tries to keep things interesting at practice in order to keep her girls motivated. Shooting guard Allie Dillon appreciates not having to do the same drills over and over again. It's not just one of these things that like you dread. Like it's a lot of fun to like be here and like work with coach and like work with the players. Along with joking, players will say that practices can also be intense. We don't take anything personal, so we're able to communicate even if it's a little aggressive. Not only is the tournament stacked, but they are facing the most competitive side of the bracket. We end up playing. We're probably one of the best teams in the state in Bishop Thien. Um, we've had battles with them all year. They've won a couple of state tournaments over the years. I think this team is hungry to get back to it. They, um, a lot of them have played on those teams when they were freshmen and sophomores, so and now some of the seniors um, who are still here. The Wamps fall short in the state tournament this season, but with a talented young group returning, they could be back next year. Reporting for Mustang Magazine, I'm Ali Jambanko. Together, one, two, three, together! together. 
Thanks, guys. Recently, McDonald has stepped down from leading the Braintree team, and we wish her the best as she continues coaching as Stonehill's assistant coach. There will be a junior Mustang mentor meeting today after school in Ms. Cone's room. Please see Ms. Cone or Ms. McDonald if you cannot attend. Now here's Walter Santiago with your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. Yesterday for sports, softball and baseball beat Milton and volleyball beat Brookline. Today for sports, boys and girls lax are playing Walpole. Baseball has a game against Newton North, and softball has a game against Brockton. That's all I have for today. Now back to the desk. And that's all that we have for today. Be sure to check us out on Mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Have a great day, Mustangs. Great show, guys.